Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Happy 4th of July. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my rainbow cookies. They're super duper good. So let's get started. So the first thing that I did is I preheated my oven to 350 because you'll bake these cookies for about 8 to 10 minutes but remember ovens vary so just keep an eye on it. So in my bowl I'll add my butter which I'm using one cup of butter so that's two sticks. Here's the second stick. I have one and a half cups of confectionery sugar that I'll place in my bowl along with my butter. So there's one and a half. So now I'll mix my confectionery sugar and butter until it's well combined. Clean off the mixers. So now I'll scrape my bowl, make sure everything's mixed good. That's what you're looking for. So now I'll add in my one egg that I have at room temperature. The butter was also at room temperature. So I have the egg and I'll have one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now I'll mix this all together. Now that I have that mixed together, I'll place it off to the side. I have three cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So now I'll slowly mix in my flour mixture into the butter mixture. I'll do a little at a time. Scrape down my sides. Now I'll add the rest of my flour. Now I'll clean off the mixers. Now 
I'll scrape the sides of the bowl, making sure everything's mixed in good. That's perfect. So now I'm going to take my dough and separate it into three equal parts. But I have my dough in three equal parts. So I'll take some food coloring. I'll place some green in this one. Just mix it around till your dough is all green or whatever color you choose. Here it is all mixed together. Now for my next color I will use yellow. So place a little yellow. And mix it around. There's the yellow. Place that off to the side. And the last color I'll use is blue. And there's your blue. So I have blue, yellow, and green. I'll be rolling my dough into colored sugar. If you don't have colored sugar, you can just use plain old white sugar. So I have green sugar for my green, yellow for the yellow, and my blue for blue. So I have a piece of parchment paper. I'll take the dough out of my bowl. I'll take the green sugar.
and just roll your dough into the green sugar. And like I said, if you don't have the colored sugar, you can use plain old white sugar. You want to make sure it's coated good. So now I'll take my parchment paper. I have my dough neatly rolled to about 12 inches long. So now I'll take my parchment paper and roll it up. And you'll place this in your fridge for about 30 minutes, or you can have it overnight. So now I'll do the yellow. Take my yellow sugar, sprinkle it around, and as I'm sprinkling the sugar, I'm also rolling out the dough. As I'm rolling out the dough, it's also picking up the sugar that's on the parchment paper. And you'll roll this to about 12 inches as well. Now I'll roll my parchment paper around the dough. I'll get my last dough, which is the blue dough. Place that on my parchment paper. Now I'll get my blue sugar. And do the same for this. I'm sprinkling the sugar on the dough, but whatever falls off on the parchment paper, as I'm rolling the dough, it's picking up the sugar. And I'm also shaking my parchment paper closer to the dough. So you picked it right up. So now you'll take this dough and roll it up. So now I'll place my dough in my refrigerator for 30 minutes, or you can place it overnight. So into the fridge it goes. Now that my dough has been in the fridge for about 30 minutes, I'll unroll it. And I'll place the dough all together. So I'll flatten the dough 
so it all sticks together. I have my bacon pan. My oven is preheated at 350. I'll line my baking pan with parchment paper. Now I'll cut the cookie. Once I sliced my cookie, what I'm going to do now is use red sugar. I'll place it in my plate. This is optional, you don't have to. I'll take the cookie and then dip it in the sugar and then place it on my parchment paper and continue on with the rest. So I'll take my cookie, roll it in the sugar, place it on the parchment paper. You want to make sure that all the dough is sticking to one another as you're cutting it. Good. So just continue on with the rest. Place it in the sugar. And these are what I call my rainbow cookies. As I'm placing it in the sugar, I'm also tapping on the seams so that they stick together. That's what they look like. So now into my 350 degree preheated oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Remember ovens vary so just keep an eye on it. So into the oven they go. See how good they're going to look? Now I'll check on my cookies. Aren't they looking good? A few more minutes and they'll be coming out of the oven. So now it's time to take my cookies out of the oven. Perfect. I'll place them off to the side to let them cool a little bit before I remove them from the cookie sheet. Now into the oven for the second batch. So now I have this beautiful dish that my daughter-in-law bought for me. I'll put the cookies on top of this dish. Look at how perfect that's going to be. Now that my cookies have cooled, look at how good that came out. I'm going to try one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect. That's a good cookie. They're really good. They're super duper good. Mmm. Really tasty. And I really like using these um, cookie baking sheets because they're pre-cut and very easy to use. If anybody is interested in wondering if they work good, yes they do, and it makes it very simple and easy because they're already pre-cut sheets that I put on my cookie sheet. So I like them. This recipe will make about 24 to 26 cookies. How nice they came out, and don't they look pretty on this nice plate? 
Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watch me make my rainbow cookies. They're super duper good. Give them a try and have a safe and wonderful 4th of July. I'll see you guys all next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>